Hi guys. Now we all know that I love a bargain when it comes to watches. There is no bigger bargain than the Casio F91W. Best selling watch that is. And I don't think there's really any shortcomings of it when you consider they're about £10. I mean, where the most until the battery is dead, buying a new one. But I think there's a new king of the Casios. And it's this. This is the W218H. And as you can see, it's a bit more of a G-Shock type of look than a Casio look. It's like the F91W's big brother. And I've absolutely adored wearing it for this review. It's probably been one of the easiest reviews that I've done to date. So I'm Jason, I'm your watch guy. Let's get into the review. So here we have it. This is the Casio W218H. Dash 1AVEF to be precise. Now you can get this in a couple of different colorways. You can get it with a uh, little bit of a military look with a green casing. You can get it with different colored resin bands. There's a few out there that can suit pretty much anyone to be fair. I opted for the pretty natural all black Casio effect. You might be wondering why I think this is the new king of the Casios. The F91W is a much smaller watch. Now this does come in looking more like a G-Shock as I, as I mentioned and I really like that type of look at this price. Now I found it on Amazon with the orange variant on the strap for $17.49. I don't think there's a better value watch out there. This is the perfect beta watch for someone who wants to take a watch to work don't want to worry about what happens to it or how badly it comes out scratched and can replace it at the drop of a hat. I mean £17.50 is not something that you're really going to miss, especially when you're considering this is a watch. Now my basic watch in my collection cost 10 times this, so you're never really going to find a complaint from me on pricing. So let's talk about the dimensions of this watch. It's 44 0.4 millimeters by 43.2 millimeters and it's 10.8 millimeters thick it's a very thin watch very easily fit that under the cuff of your shirt your jacket whatever you like nice easy wear that so functionality wise it's obviously a battery operated watch as you'd expect from Casio we have a LED light at the side which is much brighter than the older models, if you remember them in like the 2000s, maybe the 90s. I think these were one of the first watches that I ever owned when I was a kid. And the watch was dead, dead dull. But now they've got this really super bright light. Perfect for reading it wherever you are, really. We have the daily alarm, which is easily settable. As you can see, it has a little indicator up in the top corner here. So we can have it on. We can have it off. It also has an hour reminder, so it'll have a little beep when you pass the hour. That's that little symbol there. You can have that on, you can have just the alarm, you can have both. That's my personal preference, having both of them on. I think it's a nice little feature, having that little hour tick by. As well as the alarm, we have the stopwatch, operated by the top button there. Now this is a one hour stopwatch, which usually more than you need to be fair. Just stop that there, reset it with the light button down at the bottom, and you're done. You can also start it, stop it, start it again. Perfect if you want to time your jog, something like that, time dinner, that's what I usually use it for. Now at the top here we have the automatic day date month calendar. That's obviously easily settable with the time, as you can see, month date, day. Now you can use this as a 24 hour setting as I do or the usual 12 hour setting with the PM AM sign over in the corner. I like it in 24 hour setting, makes me feel a little bit military. This has 5 bar water resistance which translates to about 15 meters I believe. Actually labelled at the bottom here. <laughs> water resistance to 50 meters. That is ISO 22810 certified, so you can pretty much believe that when you when it says it. 
the battery life in these is about seven years. So as I said earlier in the video, in the intro, you can literally buy one of these, wear it till it's dead and buy another. Or probably in seven years, whatever variation and Casio have come out with. So the casing is resin, as is the strap that comes with these. It is acrylic glass here, so it will scratch. And it comes in at 37 grams. You hardly notice that this is on your wrist. As I said, it's the easiest review I've done. I just put this on and completely forgot that it was on my wrist until I needed the time. Or until I wanted to play with the functions. I think this is the perfect addition to anyone's collection. No matter what type of watch you own. This could be your perfect go-to-work watch. It could be your perfect exercise watch. It could be... Just something that you want to throw in there for the time that you fancy a little digital look. This is such a versatile watch and at the price that it's at, I don't think you can really justify not having one in your collection. I absolutely adore wearing it and it's actually made me want to buy more Casio watches. I've actually got my eye on so many more now thanks to this watch here. This is actually perfect for someone, if you're like me, who had a Casio when they were younger. Maybe the F91W, maybe something like that. It's basically that watch's big brother. Like the F91W decided to go to the gym for a couple of years and this is what came out. And I just think Casio have absolutely nailed this with the price range and everything. Now usually this is the section where I put my little moans in. But genuinely, I don't have any. I can't think of anything that I can criticise this watch for and feel like it's justified I mean £17.50 and they give you pretty much a chronograph with 24 hour, 12 hour settings, a full automatic calendar an alarm, an hour reminder I just can't criticise this watch really I just think at that price range it's perfect So guys, that's my review on the Casio W218H now I know it's not to everyone's liking, but I just can't criticise it. It's just an absolute bargain of a watch. And that's why I think it's the new king of the Casios. It's an F91W, but grown up. Now as I said, I do want to do more Casio videos. I've got a few that I'm thinking of. Maybe you could drop me a comment, tell me which ones you want to see. But I think at the prices that you can get them at, I'm happy to do as many as I possibly can. Remember, if you've got to this point, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm bringing out more content pretty much every other day, so it would be nice to get a few more subscribers on here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.